Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Lava flows are outpourings of molten rock on the Earth's surface. They're very common in volcanic eruptions and they come in different forms. To learn more about this intriguing topic, keep watching for 10 strange lava phenomenon. Huge lava ball. Number 10, Pele's hair. Pele's hair is the name given to hair-like strands of volcanic glass that are fashioned out of stagnant, molten segments of lava as they're launched into the air into a lava fountain, a lava cascade, or lava spatter. Pele's hair can form as a flying blob of molten lava breaks apart into two or more pieces, and thin strands of lava stretch between the pieces after their separation. These strands harden into glassy strands and are collected by the wind from their source. There, the ground and vegetation can be enclosed with thin, shiny, hair-like strands of glass. These strands are believed to have been carried away several kilometers from their origin by the wind. Strands of Pele's hair are extremely thin, almost always under half a millimeter in width. They range in length from tiny broken pieces up to strands as long as two meters. Their appearance is almost similar to coarse human hair with a golden brown color. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Aa -ah Lava The Aa -ah Lava is lava that does not flow very quickly, but hardens quickly. When the lava hardens, it creates a sharp, spiky surface. The lava can either form into one large, sharp mass, or into individual sharp rocks. These usually occur during a lava fountain. It can usually be found all over the world, and its peculiar name comes from Hawaii and means rocky with rough lava. This lava forms blocks as well, and its surface is also flat and irregular. It's a basaltic lava, which forms rugged, irregular blocks, but it is not quite as rough. Its surface is fragmented and rugged, and the object that best describes its appearance is a saw. As a result, when these types of lava become solid, it's hard to pass through them. This is why they're also called badlands. This occurs because only part of the surface becomes solid. The rest of the lava flow remains a liquid and pulls the solid surface and destroys it into tiny pieces. These fragments are integrated into the liquid lava. This process continually takes place as sort of a cycle until the whole lava flow becomes solid rock. And as a result, the appearance is pretty chaotic. Number 8. Block Lava This type is named as such because these resemble blocks. And this occurs as a result of its composition, which is a lot more acidic than usual. Due to this, they have problems flowing properly and tend to stand still, which provides the impression that they're blocks. These blocks are irregular, long, and lack any slag appearance. These types of lava have a high concentration of silicon dioxide, but why do they form blocks instead of being a uniform mass? In this case, lava is extremely viscous, so it has terrible flow. As a result, it forms these sorts of blocks for it tends to stand still and break into sections. The sudden loss of gas, which is pretty common in lava, is integral in these breaks on the solid surface. Another differentiating characteristic of this type of lava is that they become solid rocks incredibly quickly. Number 7. Lava Tubes Lava tubes are the afterproducts of volcanic processes themselves. They form either as a result of surface cooling of lava flows or as the result of sequential lava flows, with flows going underneath the older ones and cavities by a process called inflation. Lava tubes are known throughout the world in areas of volcanic activity along moving plates of the Earth's crust. Typically, lava tubes form very close to the surface and are long tubes of more or less constant diameter. Kazumura Cave in Hawaii is the longest known lava tube, with a passage stretching around 65 kilometers with 101 entrances. Number 6. Lava Lakes Permanent lava lakes are quite a rare eruptive feature. 
only half a dozen have been discovered so far, and more or less closely studied. Only two exist at this very moment. Lava lakes differ from temporary lava ponds or lava pools, and hence are of great importance because they allow detailed observations of important phenomena following volcanic eruptions that can't be studied on normal volcanoes. Dormant ones simply do not exhibit these phenomena, and erupting ones usually do not allow for close observation. Lava lakes are thought to represent the uppermost level of convection currents that stir molten, gas-rich magmas. Number 5. Pahoehoe Lava Pahoehoe Lava is semi-basaltic lava, which means that it's not viscous or thin. Rather, it's semi-thick, and it flows steadily and hardens slowly. If Pahoehoe Lava were to spill onto a parking lot, it would result in a single slab of hardened lava, or basalt. However, when it flows over or around an obstacle, it creates interesting patterns. Its appearance varies a lot, but the most common pattern that it forms is a structure that looks like a sequence of aligned ropes. In this case, the surface gets solid first. Meanwhile, under this layer of solid rock, liquid lava continues flowing. This factor allows lava to flow in a much better way, so usually it does not break the solid layer. As a result, the surface bears remarkable patterns, such as the aligned ropes mentioned before. The Pahoehoe lava was named by the people of Hawaii. Number 4. Sheet Lava Sheet flows are always broad, relatively flat, and filled in low areas in any landscape. This is because they are very fluid when erupted, and can have a variety of shapes, structures, or surfaces, such as ropey, lineated, lobate, or jumbled. Different parts of a single flow can have different lava morphologies. When it first erupts, molten lava is very mobile, but in the frigid deep ocean, its surface is cooled very quickly, and it starts to form a solid crust. Beneath the frozen surface of sheet flows, molten lava often continues to move freely for hours after eruption before finally hardening. Because of this, sheet flows tend to be at least partially hollow, where the molten interior of the flow is drained back into the eruptive crack or continued down the slope before freezing. Where they are hollow, flow roofs often collapse under their own weight, sometimes revealing lava pillars locally supporting a portion of the surface that still stands upright. Number 3. Pillow Lava Pillow lava is lava that's found underwater. It owes its name to the fact that they look like pillows stacked in groups. They are round, but they come in a variety of shapes. Tubular, bulbous, spherical, you get the idea. The solidification conditions affect the final appearance. Even though the cooling is extremely quick, the surface of this type of lava is actually quite rough. They have wrinkles, fissures, and stretch marks. There are two ways through which pillow lava is formed. The first method is through eruption out of underwater volcanoes. It cools instantly in the water and forms pillow-shaped rocks of basalt. The other way that pillow lava is created is by erupting out of above-ground volcanoes. The lava then hits water and cools instantly. It sinks to the bottom of the water as a pillow lava. This process produces the resulting appearance, which consists of a group of stacked pillows. It's one of the most regular types of lava. However, we're not very familiar with them, for they appear underwater, but we have to bear in mind that the majority of volcanoes are situated underwater. And with that, it now comes to today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. We present to you an image of a gigantic lava bubble taken in 1969. It belongs to the eruption of the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, which started on May 24, 1969, and lasted for an unbelievable 1,774 days. This particular bubble is about 65 feet tall, but allegedly other bubbles were as massive as 246 feet. The formation and expansion of gas bubbles in molten rock hurls strong jets of lava into the air. 
typically in no particular order, with the fountain spurning anywhere they put their mind to. It is, however, rare for the fountain to take the shape of a dome, like the one seen at Mauna Ulu. But during this particular eruption, the dome fountain appeared frequently during the October event, which, quote, lasted for 74 hours, nearly twice as long as any other fountaining episode of the eruption. The dome had a mottled surface, caused by solidified crust getting mixed with liquid lava. As part of the dome slid away, experts could see a lava core inside, indicating that the dome was not simply a large bubble. Number 1. Lava Fountain Streams of liquid lava flying into the air from an erupting vent, powered by expanding gases, are referred to as lava fountains. They acquired this name as when the lava erupts into the atmosphere, it resembles a water fountain. Lava fountains usually take place on basaltic volcanoes such as Kilauea or Etna. The fountain gains speed through the widening of gas bubbles that dissolve as a result of the magma as pressure falls while it's rising. Their height, shape, time, and exploding volumes of lava fountains can differ greatly. Powerful fountains can reach several hundreds of meters. Lava fountains of Vesuvius back in 1779 even managed to reach an approximate height of 3 kilometers. Well, that concludes our list of 10 strange lava phenomena. Let us know in the comment section below which one of these you were the most in awe of. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon. Thanks for watching.